Hello viewers, today I'm going to drive an intercity train as promised and today we will take an unusual intercity train we're, ta we're taking the ICM for a spin this train is quite unusual because of its front as you can see the, the, the train driver cabin is in the top there right there but what's here you might ask well with the older models of the train they usually have passengers going uh, walking through them from this uh, to w from one train to another but uh, they've updated the train to a more modern uh, for a more modern look and they've removed the feature uh, completely so nobody can walk through anymore this to make the train lighter and less um, expensive to maintain because why this also was removed is because it broke a lot of times and the train had to be repaired a lot of times so that's why they chose to replace the door completely or just replace it with a lighter plate so uh, it wouldn't happen again so it's a bit of a shame but we gotta deal with it so today we're driving a train to uh, Eindhoven but uh, we will actually be stopping at uh, Amsterdam Central Station as our last stop I believe but I don't know I think uh, I, th I don't know what the scenario wants uh, as a final destination because as you can see there's no prompt so I'm also clueless at the moment but uh, let's begin with prepping the train so first course board maybe it's easy just to put it on Eindhoven there we go uh, course has been set now we jump into the cabin and we will put on the lights we will put on the instrument lights uh, we will put the reverser into forward and let me see A to B on yeah that's it now we can let in some passengers this is going to be quite a long journey I believe it's going to be like an hour or something so you can just sit tight relax and enjoy some snacks or whatever while you're watching this because uh, like last video maybe at some point I don't know what to say and I'm also just going to focus on actually driving through the uh, landscape and enjoying the journey myself so uh, sit back uh, sit back relax and enjoy so let's take off the parking brake and let's start oh not too quickly Ooh, hear that noise it's a beautiful noise in my opinion I really love this train in real life as well this is my preferred train because the, the coaches of this train are so com uh, are so luxury and the seats are so comfy So now we're leaving uh, Station Schagen for uh, Heer Hugo Waard. I've not been here myself in real life yet, but when we come at Elkmar Station, then I that, then uh, we come at an area that I do know. That's the noise of the Deadman switch I'm pressing. This is an actual pedal, I believe, in this train. Can't speed up yet, we'll come in a second. There we go. This train doesn't really want to 
pick up speed quickly because otherwise it starts wheel slipping. This train wants to f take things slow. Driving through the beautiful farmlands of the northern North Holland province. Yes, and finally in today's video you're also going to see Amsterdam. Our capital city, because it has been Utrecht, Utrecht, Utrecht and Zwolle. But now it's finally time for our capital city, Amsterdam. This is an old map by the way, so if you see some weird scenery like uh, some misplaced things or this and that, it's because this uh, map I'm using right now uh, is quite old, it hasn't been updated for quite a long time. Like this for example. I don't know what that is supposed to be. We're almost at our station though, so let's start breaking.
Let's do this nice and gently. Nice. With eight wagons, so uh, eight cars, so two, four here. next station though is not too far away from this one This train, by the way, uh, does not usually run on this line as well. It's usually the uh, Verm double decker, which I already showcased in my first two videos.
this DDZ over here, which I'll show in another video, also usually does not drive on this line. from our mistakes and we shall continue on this journey shortly and this is why ATB is a good thing to enable every time you start up a scenario okay so let's just disengage the brake let's put the first into forward and let's start again let's not screw this up Look, that is the train which usually drives here. further away than the sign but still fine oh no actually quite quite nice not too bad we have to wait a bit but this gives us time to fly around a bit Just see our magnificent beast of a train.
let's speed up time, shall we? Station High Low is coming up. Let's make sure we don't zoom past this station.
There we go. Our four stop, I think. This. Uh, let me see. This is the entire map, by the way. It's quite big. We still have to go to Crusticum, which is this station. To go. Then we heading to Zandam, which is this. Oh no, this station over here. Uh, then we have to go to Amsterdam, slow today. Which is uh, this station over here. And then we are heading to Amsterdam Central Station, which is over here. So we're still actually operating as a stop train right now, but after Castricum we're an actual intercity train. Then we will actually soon pass a couple of uh, smaller stations, because as you've noticed, until uh, we've been stopping at every single station uh, so far. But that, that won't be this whole journey, don't worry. Stupid wheel slip. It's so annoying, I just want to get going. But it is realistic. the DDZ going to pass us with this airy noise which I will update as soon as I can because the stupid sound mod I have which is making it so much worse Let's slow down a bit here.
There we go, another perfect stop. This is station Castricum. Which is in this lovely band. This is going to be the thumbnail of the video. Now we're finally going to make some progress and not stop at every single station. Now we're actually in Intercity. Uitgeest. You know, you know that video I told you about. That uh, sprinter of uh, out of Venendaal will. Uh, th this is its real final destination. So imagine how long that line is in real life. I think it's like pr a proper two hours of travel. I think with a sprinter train from Venendaal to Uitgeest. Maybe it uh, maybe will sound like easy peasy to you because maybe your country is much bigger and that distance is nothing but for us in the Netherlands it's quite something because uh, we're a small country, remember?
just adjust SP to 110 and to 100 after that. that I just let loose of the brake for just a second. Zandam shortly. Won't take too long now. I can go max 100. It says 130, but I can still go maximum 100 because the signs said so. So don't be confused if you think like, hey, it says 130. Why are you not doing that? Well, because the signs said so.
arriving at the station Zaandam and we're really close to Amsterdam because basically after Zaandam there's a tunnel which goes under water under the uh, canal and uh, after that tunnel we're basically in Amsterdam then we're in the harbor of Amsterdam and then we are near Amsterdam Sloterdijk which is uh, another big station So we're getting there. But first, Zaandam. Oh, I did not really pay attention to my approach speed, but... I don't think that's too big of an issue, maybe it is. No, it isn't. It's perfectly, we're perfectly fine. There we go, perfect. Let's take a look at this station for a minute, shall we? It's another interesting station, I believe. Okay, construction site. They have uh, renewed the station, this is the old station, just saying. This is how it looked in the old days. When we arrive in Amsterdam Central Station, same stuff. The things you will see are much different right now. Because this is an old map, like I said earlier. Things are a bit inaccurate. And things may see a little bit weird. So, yeah. This is not how uh, Station Sandom looks like right now. I'm going to put a picture in the video to show you how it actually looks right now. And I'm also going to put a picture in uh, with, uh, of Amsterdam Central Station, how it looks. <sighs> so you gotta be honest, this is not like... Very nice looking, a bit boring, a bit ugly, in my opinion at least, all these red things. This is 1980s I believe. Okay, that's our whistle. So like I said, we're now going to enter a tunnel And after that we'll be in Amsterdam
I'm speeding, but I need to get out of here and maintain the speed. Because as you can see, it wants the train to slow down when I do this. Because of physics, gravity it's called. But now we're out of the tunnel and we're in, a we're in Amsterdam. Welcome to the harbour area of Amsterdam, which is not the biggest harbour area of the Netherlands, just saying. Because uh, if, you know, if you've done some geography, then you know what I'm talking about. Hint, hint, hint port of Rotterdam. <laughs> and not only the biggest of the Netherlands, but the biggest of Europe. I uh, like also somewhere there in like the biggest of the world. In, the, in that list at least. It was number one one time but it has been beaten. Coming up, Amsterdam Sloterdijk. paying attention <laughs> but like I said in the other video you always have to learn from your mistakes and do the following when this shit happens because it was going really well just reverse into the station because what happens if I change the very uh, does this in real life? Well, they do this shit as well, believe me. And then they get, maybe they get fired afterwards, I don't know. But they do this. At least. Here we go. Backing up into the station. There we go. That was a fuck up, but shit happens. Let's have a look around in Amsterdam Sloterdijk, shall we, before we head on to our final destination of Amsterdam Centraal. Well, welcome to Amsterdam Sloterdijk, I don't know which train this is. As you can see, a very interesting station. Uh, this is the uh, Amsterdam Metro. Just saying, this uh, this bit.
that is our signal, I believe, or not? No, that's not our signal. That is our signal. Sorry for that uh, brief pause. I was interrupted by something in real life. But now ca let's carry on to uh, Amsterdam Central Station. Excuse me for my language. It's just so annoying. It's when bloody uh, A to B uh, just changes for like two seconds and then immediately starts screaming at you if you do not comply with it. If you do not break within three seconds when it has done that. Basically, it doesn't give you any time. It's probably accurate, it's probably in real life as well, but I just hate it. Just absolutely hate it when it does that. This uh, channel is uh, not family friendly for a reason. <laughs> uh, when I get frustrated, sometimes I uh, I just uh, swear a little. But uh, I don't care. Well, I do curse a little, <laughs> to be honest, but not so much in videos. Yeah. Welcome to Spaghetti Junction, Amsterdam Central Station. Coaches.
want me to stop there. Finally, the final destination of our long journey. Welcome to Amsterdam Central Station. The next... The next video is going to be me teaching myself how to drive an intercity direct properly. Yes, you heard that correctly. I'm teaching myself. That doesn't mean I'm going to teach you anything. Um, but I hope you will still enjoy it. Because it's basically me trying to figure out how it, this train works. And I'm basically going to drive from another interpretation of... Uh, or another iteration of... Amsterdam Central to Rotterdam Central Station on the high speed line so I hope you will enjoy that next video that I will make very soon but uh, I would like to thank you for watching this video and uh, like always if you like the video please leave a like if you have any feedback questions improvements that I can make uh, le let me know through the comment section and if you uh, loved this video and want to support me with my channel then bo uh, then consider subscribing uh, so this is the end of my video like this prompt says end of this scenario so I will see you guys later goodbye